suddenly I have no signal. That's weird. Probably gonna be two perfect Xeons, or no, it's a Xeon and it's Kool Aid. The boosting first turn. Mm. Alright, let me check something. Bazuli knows explosion, and Fritz knows shot burst. Does he know explosion? He does not. Well, I'm actually gonna swap out for Hal. Oh wow, I messed up the quote bad. <laughs> what does it actually say? Can you feel your heart burning? Can you feel the struggle within? The fear within me is beyond anything your soul can make. You cannot kill me in a way that matters. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna post the meme right here. There you go. You can have that. I'll send it to your Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's You system hacked the same person twice. Hey mom, can we get system crack? We have system crack at home. Alright, here we go. Every time I see that, do you remember? This is gonna sound stupid, but do you remember the movie Chicken Little? Like the Disney movie? Hmm. You, remember the, you remember the Disney movie Chicken Little? Yeah. Like, uh, you remember at the end when they finally meet the aliens, they're like, You kidnapped our son, therefore you are subject to immediate particle disintegration! Just like every time we. Shoot the big blue laser beam, that's just what I think of. That reminds me of that. I'm not talking about that, reminds me of that vine. Stop saying I look like Chicken Little. He's dumb, he's a coward, and I'm not a coward. I'm just gonna shoot you in both your non existent kneecaps. They were subject to uh, the Intergalactic Code 90210. Yeah, that's a reference. I just don't know what's a reference to. I've heard those numbers used before, though. Like, what is that a reference to? Like, I've heard it referenced multiple times. I just don't know the original. 90210 is the Beverly Hills uh, zip code. Ooh. Okay. The Beverly Hillbillies. Can't have that much left in him, so this should be enough. There you go. I can't slash him with the noises and decaps. He dies. We've gotten a lot of restorative drinks. We have. Saving all those for the final round. That one. I don't even know how long that final battle in the final dungeon is going to take. I'm betting somewhere around the two hour mark. Is that bad? <sighs> yeah. It's like. Again, I, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before, but it's like, unless you defend every single turn, you're probably going to get smacked pretty easily. rather deal with Xeons than the Kubelays, just because the Kubelays funnels, they're not, yeah, they're not bad individually, but it's the fact that you can get triple teamed by three of them at once. And they can all focus on one person. Yeah. 
Okay, they're they're all charging this turn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just spot them one at a time. We'll start with him because he's got the most HP. Now remind me, did you grow up with the N64? Yeah. What were some of your favorite games on there? Uh, Banjo Kazooie, Legend of Zelda, and Conquer's Bad Friday. I also played Quest 64, but I didn't have a Rumble Pack, so I couldn't save. I really hated that feature about specific N64 games. I always wanted to go back and play Quest 64. I've always wanted to play Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, which I'm going to see if I can find a copy of that. It is soon. so good. Yeah. Don't play the HD remake. Because they censored way too much, right? They censored way too much, and it just lo it loses most of its aesthetic, honestly. Which, that's kind of that's kind of weird, because it's like, it's an N64 game. What aesthetic does it have? I do get what you mean, though, because with the N64, it's honestly kind of like looking at Mario 64 versus Mario 64 DS. When you look at it with polish, because you know what it is, it just kind of falls into the uncanny valley. Where it's like... Yeah, I guess that's it. It's like, you know what it was, and everything was designed in a very particular way. Unless you're doing a from-the-ground-up remake with the graphics, like X versus Maverick Hunter, then looking at it with some slightly updated graphics, but almost the exact same game, it doesn't quite look as good... It also could just be because the DS had a tinier screen than a TV, so unless you're looking at it on a DS, it just doesn't look as good. Yeah. But um, Congress That Fur Day is one of those that has been memed to death, and I definitely been mean to pick it up. I just haven't been able to find it anywhere for a decent price. Probably it's, gonna, it's really good. Probably going to end up picking up a repro car cartridge somewhere, because I don't, I don't feel bad about repros anymore, because these games are no longer produced, and unless Nintendo wants to put out the uncensored version on Switch as, like, a remake or something... That would be so... I would buy that instantly. The thing is, though, I don't know if it can, because the game belongs to Rare. It's, it's really rare. The thing is, though... Uh... So... I would buy that so fast, though. That's also led people to wonder if they ever did do, like, a, uh, like, Nintendo 64 classic console with, like, all the best N64 games on it, do you think that they would include, uh, uh, GoldenEye 64 on that, because Rare now belongs to Microsoft? I, I'm not sure if they would or could, because, uh, I feel like they would jump through the licensing thing. I think there may be more to it than that, though, because uh, you I, I told you recently that the uh, GoldenEye HD remake for Xbox Arcade was leaked online, right? But it was cancelled, so it never got an official release. Like, you, you remember me mentioning that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's, uh, well, you know, GoldenEye and Perfect Dark were both made by Rare, and they were both released on Xbox Live Arcade with some slight graphical updates. Uh, it's the exact same game. It's kind of like toggling back and forth between uh, Xbox and Xbox 360 graphics for Halo Master Chief Collection on Halo 1. Uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary, that's what I was trying to say. Um, so, the Perfect Dark uh, remastered version did make it on online for Xbox Live Arcade. But the GoldenEye one, even though it was mostly finished, I think they said there was exactly 90 bugs left to patch out. It never got a an official public release, but within the past year, it has gotten leaked online somehow, and actually made it into the hands of gamers, which that's pretty cool. But um, the, uh, from what I understand, the reason that it never got officially released was not due to licensing from Rare's part, but it was due to disagreements with whoever held the IP for James Bond. 
like, I, I remember it being something akin to, uh, we don't want you to publish this game because uh, you have, like, James Bond has the ability to die in this game, and we don't want the idea of him actually dying on screen. And I remember it was something stupid like that. And I'm like, and yet you published the literal GoldenEye remake. Uh, GoldenEye 007 for the Wii, and then later GoldenEye Reloaded for Xbox 360. So I'm like, is that actually the reason, or are y'all just being stupid? So, GoldenEye is one of those that I don't know if it would make it onto an N64 classic because of that, more so than, more so than licensing with Microsoft. I got beam guns in my hips. Those hips don't lie. So, um, uh, one thing I wanted to ask, I haven't finished playing Majora's Mask, which was worse, uh, Water Temple in Ocarina of Time or Grave Bay Temple in Majora's Mask? Water Temple. Water Temple? I remember I got stuck there for about a year, but that's just mostly because I just dropped it and didn't pick it back up for about a year, but then I pick it up and beat it in like an afternoon. That's just kind of how the Water Temple is. So it's it's common to get stuck and then come back and beat in a problem. Does the game like automatically make it easier for you or every copy of Ocarina of Time is personalized? Oh no. <laughs> you look last. Okay. Won't do as much damage, but it'll look cooler if we do it this way. This should be enough to finish him off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be upset if this is what kills him, but... Oh. Ah, yeah, there it goes. Sorry, because it'll be next time. Alright. I think I might throw a restorative drink on Tremmy because we might need her charge ability for the next fight. So yeah, now on to the final boss of this particular dungeon. Hmm. I I already hit the uh, I already hit the button, right? Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, don't have to worry about random encounters, so just hightail it to the save point and then on towards the final room. Care to take a guess at what this at what this boss is? Three talkies. Three purple talkies. Talkies gamma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Deceptively long hallways. Devil gone them again? No, not yet. All right. For the, for this first attempt, I am gonna attempt to simply overpower it. But with the second, with the second one, I will go for more defensive approach if I fail to kill it. All right, here we go. Oh, yep, Psycho Gundam Gamma. Color scheme is an homage to Psycho Gundam Mark II. And we're all gonna die! Right here, even though it is beams, it gets past beam field. Hmm. Big ouch. And he's boosting again? Uh, 
I'm sorry, Tristan. Be our sacrificial lamb, please. He survived! Somehow. Okay, now. Overboost or ultimate weapon? Uh, which one does more damage? <laughs> Overboost is a, is a stat buff all across the board. Ultimate weapon. Yeah, because he, he could probably get smacked without warning, right? Yep. I forgot how much HP this thing has. Can it counter attack? It cannot. Even though canonically Psycho Gundam Mark II, I think, Ow. Has beam sabers mounted in its arms. Ultimate weapon, final impact, and then just heal Tristan back up. Now I was hoping for 999 again. Does anyone have the beam shot rifle equipped currently? I don't think so. Man, this guy's defense is really high too. Ow. Okay. Now he's probably going to be scattered and being blasted again, but as long as he doesn't crit, I think Tristan will survive. Okay, let's just scatter you again. Okay. Ow! Even with the crit, you survive. One thing I don't like about Forward Herald is all the TP it takes. Do you mind? Can you please stop with the beam spam? No! The sun is a dead new day, so... Okay, now. Where's it at? I would go ahead and armor one again. Yeah, go ahead and get some armor on this one. You get an extra layer of armor on this Yes. Maybe. I don't know if just armor on twice actually does that. It'll usually tell you if it does. But... Ow, it still does more damage than I'm comfortable with. Alright. Now let's get Tremmy out here. And let's just... Come on, slam. Welcome to the jam. Yeah, go ahead and hypercharge. I poke you with a very square kneecaps. That's a good bit of damage. That was less damage. He's got pilot damage. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no.
Question is, if he doesn't use Scattering Beam Blast this turn, do I want to risk next turn using Ultimate Weapon and maybe ending it, or and leaving him vulnerable, or do I just camp it out and see? Okay, camp it out. The strat we're using right now is working. Barely working. But it's working. Alright, after this turn, he is not going to be able to boost. At least not the same boost. But still, Tristan is double pilot damaged. Alright, I think I can end it next turn if he doesn't boost again. I can, I can throw Ultimate Weapon at him with Fritz, and then I can hit him with uh, Aeons. Okay, this time it is going to be a Scattering Beam Cannon. It can't be Explosion. So, defend, and I'm going to go and swap out for Aeon. And... He's probably going to technique like full charge or something to get his end back to max. Ow. Alright, hopefully this will be Galley Fire or Omega Blast. Which does more damage? Uh, Galley Fire usually. So. Alright, hopefully this will be enough to end it. Go Alright, I'm gonna have Trevor be the sacrificial lamb next turn. Or turn after that. If it does not. Yeah. I think it might hang on by a thread, because I think that it'll survive these two, but then it'll need one more big attack to put it down. That's why I was hoping for a Voltic Lancer. Like a Plasma Lancer next turn. Down it goes! Nice! I poked you in the kneecap with my tiny beam knife. There we go. Not as scary if you know what to expect, but if we'd gone into that without knowing that it gets through beam fields. <laughs> That's a lot of EXP. Yeah. But again, not so much money. And again, no one learned anything. Go, 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 go. Another boss! <laughs> two of them! This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them! And what is our prize for this one? I want to say that it there is like a really good shoulder mounted cannon here, but I can't remember what it is. Capel. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Hacking tube. <laughs> Hacking tube. And. Mega Beam Rifle. Okay. Uh, mobile suit parts. High power claw. Okay. And. Option parts. High power propellant. Good. Now, what about this Mega Beam Rifle? Let's take a look here. Three hundred thirty damage. So that's more than the VSBR. It's such an awkward shape, though. All right, let's ditch this. Move this over here. No. It's so awkward. Satisfactory? Yes. So, can anyone else take the VSBR then? VSBR is not as strong as the Dober gun. Hey, the Dober gun is stronger than the Mega Beam rifle. Because it's the Dober gun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, we can't fit in either of these guys either. So the VSBR just kind of goes in the trash for now. 
Oh well. It can almost fit, but not quite. If it were just one more, we could put it on the new Gundam. What if, what if... No, that, that don't work. I want to give it to someone, because it's too good of a gun to waste. Should I give Dobergun to Hal or not? Mm -hmm. Bazooli would take a damage cut if we did by 50, but Hal would gain a pretty significant amount compared to the Buster Rifle. I don't know. Hal does enough damage. He, he does pretty good damage, but he could do more. If we use Ultimate Weapon, he, he, he is primarily a melee attacker, though. Like, look at that thing. Yeah. That is the most, the most powerful melee weapon in the game. Yeah. I, I think we'll, we're good with what we have for now. If, if we get anything else better, we'll give it to him. Alright, so... Think that's a good place to call it for this session? Yeah. Managed to beat all three of the moon bases. Got some pretty good stuff. Now, let's go upgrade our stuff and get ready to move on to the next secret boss. Oh, boy. Um, I'll drive back to the next place. All right, so I guess next time we'll just pick up right there, uh, getting ready for the boss fight. Sounds good to me. All right. So, this has been Blake Cross EXE. And RioG42. For Flash of Blaze Productions with more MS Saga New Dawn. Thank you all for watching, and join us next time. Peace out. Peace.